Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. With great marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. A few weeks ago, I flew from LA to New York to participate in Mocha Festival, which is a really cool, large illustration festival held in New York City every year. I had such an incredible experience. In this video, I take you through a lot of my setup. I take you to the market on the actual days of, and at the very end, I share some of my experience and just some of my findings. And I hope you enjoy this video and let me take you back to the very beginning. So I bought this display on Etsy and investing in these like flat pack ones is nice because then I can like, travel with it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna assemble this and let's just see how it works. But this is how I planned on using it. I thought I could just put like two Rezo prints up here and then maybe three prints like this here. And I feel like it'll be a nice centerpiece for my display. I got a measuring tape, so let's see what four feet is. They offer a six foot table, but I thought four feet would be fine. And I can mark that with some tape. Because most of my prints are gonna be displayed on this, I'm thinking like I need something to hold a t-shirt. And I've been thinking about this a lot. Like I don't really know the best way to display a shirt. So I'm gonna test out a different, couple different ways. My first idea is to have the shirt like hang on a really big grid. So I'll build it up like two, like two of them here and then one, maybe one here. Um, and then I'll just hang the shirt there and it'll be kind of like a backdrop. And then my second idea is to just like hook the shirt onto the very front of the table. I got this chalkboard easel from Michaels and I got like a chalkboard um, pen to write on and I think this would be perfect for my price list. too is that better i think it's a little better but it still feels a little off to me like i just feel like the shirt's like boom So I think I am reached a good point. Um, I moved the t-shirt display thing from here to there. Taking up half the table like this, like I would only have basically this much space. So I obviously can't talk to people behind here. And I don't hate this. I think it feels a little bit more balanced to me.
Today is day two, so we are about two and a half days out from Mocha. Um, I'm in really good shape though. Yesterday I worked on a lot of stuff. Like I did all of my enamel pens. These guys are done. Um, I think it's nice and clear and I like that it's chalkboard. I think it gives a bit of variety to the display, like visually. Like what? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> I hope you have a very success. <laughs> Whatever show? Yeah. Oh, you. Today, you have that. I just cook some rice. You can eat rice. I just eat quinoa. Hey, quinoa, seems to have more sugar. It's also like if anyone like she can my letters is fine. Wow, you even cut this part out. Why not cut it? No, you're good. You're really good. You don't cut? No, I said you cut it very well. You cut it very well. You can cut it very well. So here's the sign. I don't know if you can see that clearly. My mom honestly did most of this, so shout out to my mom. But I think this is gonna look cute, like draped on the front of my display. I made some mistakes, so I had to cover up some white paint, but it's pretty cute, it's pretty cute. And I like how big it is. But yeah, still feeling a little overwhelmed, but I think it'll feel good like when I'm actually there and I'm just like doing it and my sister's with me. Um, it's just a lot of anticipation and buildup, I think. I think that's also what's contributing to like the stress. It's like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? It's gonna come up soon and I don't know. I don't have enough, which is kind of annoying. It only goes up to number 16. Um, but you know what? <laughs> Maybe I'll buy another one of these super quick. Let's take a quick break to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace can help you build a really beautiful website and grow your business online. Something really cool Squarespace does is that you can hook it up to a square card reader, which I think is really cool. So at the art market, what I used was a square card reader and I could have just hooked it up to my Squarespace site super, super easily. I also love that you can see mobile view, super helpful when designing the page. You can also hook up your Instagram, which is super useful. I like all of their intuitive design tools. So those little blocks that pop up help your elements on the page snap into place. Just makes designing super easy. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Megan Wang for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace. And let's get back to the video. It's from the side, if she says yes, I like continue right here and go like this. Paw is lifted. Oh, Julia.
<laughs> have, have you even gotten to the meat yet? It's so good. Sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. And the sauce is really good too. Thanks, baby. Hello, today is Friday and it's around noon. We're gonna go set up at the venue super, super soon. Head over to Manhattan. It's gonna be kind of a long-ish commute and I'm a little like, I have a pretty heavy suitcase, but my hope is that it's not too bad. I also have to bring my onigiri sign, which is like on the floor somewhere over there. Today we're gonna set up like my whole display and also I wanna like iron out all the details behind the table. But yeah, let's do it. Show her monster foot. This is, is the it most monster. Yeah. Cause no monster feet soft. Can you imagine that soft to fall? Oh my god. There's no more baby. There's no more. There's no more. Why is that a focusing? Our mocha outfit. Of many, I feel like. Yeah, this is something I think I would do every year. Yeah, because how much does it cost for the table again? $333. <laughs> I'm just like we're <laughs> struggling. Maybe if yeah. we didn't and then we're using our we're using the this right here storage as well. Okay. And now we're finally at the day of the festival. So on day one, it actually rained quite a bit, um, but there were so many people waiting outside in line, patiently waiting to enter with their little umbrellas. But yeah, my sister got a good clip of how long um, this line was. It really went all the way down the block. Um, but I got there about 45 minutes before doors opened and I was able to do some last minute tweaks to my display. That's me looking a little, <laughs> a little frazzled. Um, but yeah, it went really well. Saturday was my busier day, so I spent most of the day on my feet. It was from 11 to 7 p.m., so that was quite a few hours of standing and socializing. My enamel pins did very well, which I was pretty happy about, but the festival itself was so much fun. Every once in a while, my sister and I would kind of take turns standing at the table while the other person was able to walk around, so Julia got some really nice clips, so you can really get the, the vibe of what it was like to be there. Um, definitely super crowded, but really exciting and lively. Uh, here's me talking to Annabelle. Shout out Annabelle. <laughs> there were so many incredible artists there. I wish I had more time to really go around and look at every single table. I feel like on the off breaks, I just kind of frantically ran around. I loved being next to Radia and Amy though. It was so nice being next to them. Uh, if I was ever a little overwhelmed, I could look to my left and see my friends. And I feel like I learned a lot from them as well. Look how cute Radia is with lovely Chi. <laughs> and then came day two of Mocha um, on day two early morning my sister went to get us donuts and I really feel like this donut helped. I got a vegan hibiscus donut um, and here's the line. A lot of people came out on day two as well. For me day two was a tad bit slower so I was able to sit down which was really cool and also I was able to walk around a little bit more and just take a little bit more breaks. Because on day one I had sold a good amount of prints and whatnot I was able to move um, some of my inventory to one box so one person could sit down. I'm really glad my sister was there to help me take some clips because during the festival, I was so frazzled, um, quite overwhelmed. There was just so much going on. I had a lot of fun talking to people though and just being there. Like, I'm really glad I did it. Um, but yeah, I speak more about my reflection later. I ended the festival on day two. We went to Chipotle and I was very disappointed because this person made my burrito in not the very, not a very good way. That's my face of, of disappointment. <laughs> 
Hello, hello. Um, I'm back home. The festival was yesterday, so I'm all done with Mocha. I fly out tomorrow, so today I wanted to show you just some of the things I got. Like, look at this! It's so cute. It says Meow Meow Bakery on it. Like, it's a Rezo print also with a bunch of fun colors and it's like a cat with a strawberry house. So cute. And I'm pretty sure this is 11 by 17. This, look at how cute this is. I've loved this piece for a while and I've wanted to buy this from her shop. So I was so glad um, that she was there. I'm obsessed with this sticker. I feel this so much. This is just such a relatable feeling. All the detail and like all the colors are just really cohesive. So cute. I got to meet Marianne, aka the ghost egg. She gave me a little gift, which I thought was like so sweet. I like the mood in her work. Look at this print. Her username is Eliza Doodles. Um, she made these two little crochet strawberry hats that I'm so excited to put on them. This person's username is Cherry and Sisters, and they gave me this sticker. I love the perspective, it's so fun. And I also got to meet this artist who I have been following for a really long time now. Um, her username is Carol Makes, and she gave me this really, really beautiful print along with some other stuff, and I love cat art, so. Oh, I met an artist called Connie. Uh, Connie was one of the first people that I met um, when the whole event started, um, and he was so sweet and gave me this sticker, look. This lovely artist named Lucas, I will put all of his socials here as well, um, gave me this Cosmo like clay charm and like I'm still like losing my mind over this. We'll pause and it looks just like him and I will treasure this for as long as I live. So if you're watching this Lucas, thank you so so much. That is definitely not everything. I still have a package downstairs from Cece, aka Cece's Art Cafe that she gave me that I have to open. Um, but that's downstairs. I'm too lazy to go down there right now. Um, and I hope you enjoyed looking at all the stuff I got. I'll catch you guys when I'm back in LA for like my final mocha reflection moment. Okay. So all in all, the experience was really, really good. I don't regret it at all. Just like with Mom Market, the best part of the experience was definitely getting to just see people in person. Um, a lot of people who follow my art on Instagram or YouTube came out to say hi. It was, it was just so lovely getting to meet so many of you in person. Um, you guys are all so cute and so nice. It's so incredible to, to meet you guys. Now I say I don't regret it, but I would be lying if I said there wasn't a moment where I kind of just had a lingering doubt in my head of whether or not the doing it was worth it. It's so much effort to get all the way there. Compared to doing shop updates, doing an art market is so much more work for a lot less of the profits. Um, so a lot of the times I was thinking to myself like, why am I doing this if I can make like double to triple the income I make from doing this um, with like half of the effort? Um, I get a lot of travel anxiety too, so it was just like a really big effort for me. But I have come to the conclusion that I do think it's worth it for like other non-directly financial gains. So for example, I got to meet a lot of you guys who watch my videos or like my art on Instagram. I got to meet a lot of art friends that I've never met in person before. That was so much fun. Um, I met a lot of new people too, a lot of new artists that I've never heard of that I'm like really excited to support now. But ultimately because of like the connections I was able to form and like improving relationships, I think it was worth it. Also because it is just like one weekend of the whole year, my hope is like I'll rest up, gear up for next year, and then like go for it again. <laughs> now let's talk about things I did well that I'm like happy I did. Um, the first thing definitely was my sticker organization. I numbered all my stickers. I had my little clear sticker organizer and I numbered them behind the scenes. So when someone said like, oh, I have two number ones, it was super fast for me to grab it. Eating a lot of snacks throughout the day. My sister was super helpful. She was able to like step out a lot and like go buy us little snacks here and there. She got us donuts both days. My sister also brought like a really big Takea bottle and put electrolytes in it. And that was really good at keeping us hydrated. So another thing I think I did well was bringing my sister. <laughs> She's like really good at socializing and chatting. So I think it was nice to have her there with me. The next thing I think I did well was bringing scissors, tape, and a marker. 
Um, next time I will bring a pencil and pen though because some people ask me to sign their prints, um, which I just like didn't think about. But the scissors, the marker, and the tape were super useful, so I highly recommend just bringing like a bag of those kinds of supplies if you ever do something like this. Another thing was I'm, I'm really glad I shipped my inventory there. I took basically half of it with me in a check bag and then I shipped the rest of it there and I had all my t-shirts sent there. Um, so I'm glad I did that so I didn't have to like carry it all because it is a lot of effort to like have a bunch of luggages with you um, and, and traveling. I'm glad I brought a good amount of cash. I think I could have brought more. I think I could have gotten a lot more singles. There were a couple times where I wasn't able to give my customer um, singles back. Now let's move on to things I could have done better slash will do next time. I'm going to bring more people with me. I was really lucky to be kind of in a row with my friend Amy and also Radia um, and something I noticed as Radia did was bring um, around three people to come help her and she was able to step away from her table a bit more and that's something I would also like to do next year. I think I was very much locked to my table because when it got busy I really needed me and my sister both there to take payments. Um, I was able to walk around a little which was nice and like kind of talk to people and get away from my table from time to time but I still felt a little bit pressured to return just because I was like, oh, my sister's there alone. So um, next time I want to bring um, at least two more people and that way like people can come and do shifts. Um, and that way it's not as exhausting to just like do like an eight hour day of, uh, on your feet. The next thing I will do next year is lift my display up higher. Both Amy and Radia had displays that were a lot higher than mine. And I noticed it's just like, it's eye catching. Also it frees up more space on the table itself to sort of fulfill orders. Um, and also because a lot of my display was lower and all on the table, I didn't have a lot of space on the table itself for my inventory. So my inventory had to go under the table, it had to go on the chairs behind me. So it was kind of harder for my sister and I to like quickly sit down. Another thing is I'm gonna buy the larger table. Um, they offer a four foot table and a six foot table. So because it was my first time, I was like, okay, four feet should be enough. It was, but the six foot tables just look a lot more comfortable. Um, I hope to have more inventory next year. So yeah, I'm gonna do the six foot so that like it can just be more comfortable, can have more space under the table for stuff. Another thing that was kind of like, I didn't even think about, I didn't even know people did was when people leave their table for the day, um, a lot of people brought like sheets, like um, like a large bed sheet or something to just cover up the table. It's not, it's not completely necessary because like people are very respectful. Like for the most part, no one's gonna like steal from you or like mess with your display, but it's just kind of like a nice extra layer of security. If you get there late, it's kind of obvious that you're not there yet. Something that did happen was I thought I ran out of business cards on day one and I was so mad because I remember thinking to myself like, okay, I should bring a lot of business cards. People are just gonna wanna take that from my table. Come to the middle of day one, all my business cards are gone. My sister and I look through all of my stuff, all the stuff that's like stuffed under the table um, and we just couldn't find it. And on the end of day two, when we were packing up, I found a big box of them underneath all of my t-shirts, which was so frustrating. The reason for that was just because I had to ship a really big box of t-shirts to Mocha Festival directly. Because ordering like 20 t-shirts is not very economical. Like I like to buy about a hundred t-shirts at a time. It's just like more cost effective for me. And because I didn't want to carry all those t-shirts with me physically, I just had my printer ship them directly to Mocha. But then came the issue of fitting like a hundred t-shirts under a tiny little table and having them organized. So that was something my sister and I like really had a bit of trouble with. We ended up figuring it out and it all fit, but it was very, very cramped. Also something that I have not mentioned yet on YouTube is that I will be moving back to New York in a few months, which I'm really excited about. It's actually very bittersweet because um, I will miss living in LA. But next year, if I do mocha again, I will be local so I don't have to like have that t-shirt problem. I can just bring a smaller amount with me. If something does run out, I can send myself or a friend to go home and grab them for me. Um, and hopefully like with a larger table, everything will be better organized. Which brings me to like my next point is that I don't think I will travel anymore to markets. I think if I do a market, it will be probably Mocha Fest. I don't wanna do too many a year because it is such a big effort for me. This is just because I hate traveling. <laughs> I don't like flying. Um, I think it just makes the whole market experience a lot more effortful. If you like traveling, I do think art markets are a really great thing to do. I know of a lot of like convention artists 
students will just do conventions and art markets for fun. Um, the funds allow them to travel and see new cities they've never been to. That's just something to keep in mind. If you do want to travel somewhere to do an art market, there are a lot of like costs to think about and like a lot of things that will be a lot more like intense than if you were to do one um, in your area. That being said, um, it's not like the worst thing ever. I feel like I'm making it seem like a lot more <laughs> terrible than it actually is. Like it is a lot of work, but it's so much fun. Um, I really, really enjoy getting to meet so many people. Um, the actual experience of doing it is really fun too. Like handing someone your work is super cool. Um, kind of like having like a physical shop is very exciting. Oof, okay, I think that's all I have to say about markets from now on. Um, looking forward to doing Mocha next year with all the stuff that I've learned. I'm gonna bring like a bigger team of people to help me and I'm excited to like, keep on growing and getting better and better at, at it as I go. I wanna give a very quick shout out to my patrons as well because without them, I would not have been able to do such a cool opportunity like Mocha. Um, their support allowed me to buy the plane ticket, put down the down payment for the table, buy like all of my check bags, send all of my inventory there, um, buy all of the supplies that came with it. So yeah, I wanna thank my patrons for being so awesome and I will see you super soon in my next one. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, bye. I think she's making the chair move with her tail a little bit. No, no, it's like everything's fine. Did you give me the rest of the trooper yesterday or there's some left? I think there's some left. Bye, Pikey. Slap the, slap your fans. <laughs>